All right, y'all. Happy Father's Day and happy Juneteenth. We're over here at the Cabela's over here in Allen, Texas. Now, I haven't been out to see what kind of ammo we got in the last, what, two, three months? So let's go in here and see what they got. I'm kind of curious to see if the shelves are full or they're empty or price or how or whatever they are. So, all right, let's see what they got. All right, y'all. So, first thing I see is the shelves are full of ammo. So, what they got, they got. And I've been looking at price, and it looks like some prices have kind of bounced around a little bit. They're not quite as high as they were in some areas, a little bit. A little bit same as they were in other areas and so forth but shelves are full there's more options of each caliber that they have and i'm gonna say the first thing i did not see any 410 and i did not see any 380 auto here but i did see that over i did see 380 auto over there at uh at another store so i haven't seen 410 since i picked up that 410 quite a while back or at that pawn shop so as you can see they got quite a bit of ammo here the best for the value here that I see is herders and so forth. So if you like herders or you're not worried about the, the quality, because I'm not sure about the quality and so forth, the herders, there it is right there, $17.99. Um, actually, I was going to pick up and actually picked up, uh, I'd pick up some federal right here. So they got the federal there for two bucks more. You know, might as well do it there. So they got the Luger as well, the Remington as well. 500 rounds, I didn't do the math there, but they got 500 rounds, 100 rounds, and 50 rounds of the herders there. If you're just going out to, to blink around and and so forth, they're gonna clean your gun later on. And the all this 5.7, they didn't have 5.7 for years, or not for years, but months. Isn't that fun? All right, folks, that's why well, I edit things out. So, as you see, the, the 22 LR, uh, man, first time I bought that was 399. Look at this 800 rounds of federal 22 LR. Somebody do the math there and tell me what that is. A 450 Bushmaster. They got the 450 Bushmaster over here. They actually have a few different options there. Uh, I've never actually shot 450 Bushmaster, so I cannot educate you on any of it. But that's what they got over here. And someone tell me if these are good prices or not, because I really have no idea. 350 Legend. That's another one that I've never shot. I've heard people talk about it. 3030 Winchester. Uh, so, you know, I haven't actually. I have shot 3030 Winchester now. Um, 65 Creedmoor. That's a good round. Has a good kick there that I had there, the gun that I shot with it. Uh, and as you can see, now, 5.56 five, green tips and, of course, the red tips. The prices here seem like they have stayed about normal over the last three months, so I guess this is about where it's going to sit. We're going to see what happens with availability. I didn't see any huge packages there. Now, this 12-gauge, I actually find this stuff at Walmart cheaper. I'm curious if they, find it, if they still have it over there. Uh, so once again, as you see here, they have a bunch of ammo on the shelves. They've got the Blazer, they've got the the Winchester, they got the uh, Federal. They, they've they've got it all. So your your favorite brands are over here. They even had the Sig Sour over here that I had not seen in quite a while. Uh, one of the first guys I talked about ammo, uh, that was his life and bread and butter. The only thing he'd shoot through his guns is that. That's all he knew, and so forth. So. You can see here, uh, now I've never shot this brand before. I'm curious, but not curious enough to grab it right now. I uh, bet tools, tools and targets, I bet they've done that. Some information on that. I know he's done the Sierra. Um, so I can see the shelves are full. Uh, most of us must have our ammo. I know I have quite a bit. I actually just moved, like I told y'all, and I have been, uh, I have a bunch of stuff in storage. My wife and kids finally figured out how much ammo I actually had uh, stashed around the house. Uh, and then this this uh, less lethal or non lead ammo that price has come down a little bit. Still not enough for me to pick it up and, and so forth. But as you can see, ammo is everywhere. But once again, there are certain rounds they just don't have. Um, the 410. I don't, I don't know where you're gonna find that in any normal big box store. It's gonna have to be some mom and pop shop and so forth. And the uh, there's a few other rounds and so forth that I haven't seen over here. Shields has some oddball stuff, but Shields is usually a bit more expensive. So I need to go by Walmart and see about this 12 gauge here and see if they have it uh, cheap over there still. Because it was about half that price almost. Well, maybe it's 30 bucks than I saw. Anyhow, that's what I got. Y'all have a great one. Stay wild, y'all.